Here's a look at your local forecast. I'm Ed McIntosh in the Q2 Weather Center. Still mild overnight as far as temperatures go. Upper 30s to upper 40s all across eastern Montana and northern Wyoming. But rain showers will start to move in and that's going to hold the temperatures back tomorrow. The bulk of the rain will be from Roundup Billings southward with high elevation snow. So that's going to allow things to warm up a little bit more. But there will be some wind around northeastern Montana. Some choppy waters expected around the Fort Peck region. So here's a look at the potential for rain and snow by tomorrow morning. I stopped the clock at 9 a.m. You can see a good chance of rain from Billings. Red Lodge foothills will likely pick up some at least rain snow mix. We're expecting some snow on the ground there. And then the higher elevations could pick up a significant amount of snow, both into the Beartooth to the west of Billings and the Bighorn Mountains of northern Wyoming that should help out with the elk fire quite a bit. Now there's 9 a.m. The bulk of the rain will start to shift into south southeastern Montana and northern Wyoming by the afternoon. Again, good news for folks that are dealing with the fire concerns, but things start to taper off other than the higher elevations for rainfall from Billings to the west. There could be another round of showers that moves in by the time we get into Thursday evening. Whether that reaches Billings or not, still a little bit of a question mark as it could start to push off to the south down into northern Wyoming. And a quick look at Friday's temperatures back into the 40s and 50s for the high. But the shot chance of showers will decrease.